In a world where the mysteries of the cosmos have tantalized humanity for centuries, a new chapter is unfolding, one that could rewrite the very fabric of reality. Picture this, a dimly lit lab humming with the soft buzz of cutting-edge machines. Scientists huddle around a glowing screen, their faces a mix of disbelief and exhilaration. Data streams in, numbers flicker, and then a signal. Not just any signal, but one that might hold the key to one of the universe's greatest enigmas, dark matter. This isn't science fiction. This is happening now. And the tool at the heart of this discovery isn't a telescope or a particle collider. It's a quantum computer, a machine so powerful it dances with the strange laws of the subatomic world. What if I told you that these machines, built to crunch numbers and solve equations, might have just stumbled upon the invisible force shaping our galaxies? Buckle up, because this is a story of science, mystery, and the edge of human imagination. Let's start with dark matter the cosmic ghost that's been haunting scientists for decades. It's not something you can see, touch, or even smell, yet it's everywhere, lurking in the shadows of galaxies, bending starlight, and holding the universe together like an unseen scaffold. Scientists estimate it makes up about 27% of the universe's mass and energy. Without it, galaxies would fly apart, stars wouldn't form, and the cosmos as we know it wouldn't exist. But here's the catch. We've never directly detected it. For years, we've chased its trail with massive underground detectors, telescopes scanning the skies, and particle accelerators smashing atoms. Nothing. Nada. Just whispers of its presence in the way stars move and gravity behaves. It's like chasing a shadow that vanishes when you get too close. Enter the axiom, a particle so elusive it makes dark matter look like an open book. Dreamed up, in the late 1970s, the axiom was first proposed to fix a nagging problem in quantum physics called the strong CP problem. This issue buried deep in the math of the strong nuclear force suggested something was off in how particles behave. Physicists, unwilling to accept a universe that didn't add up, hypothesized a new particle, one so light it makes a neutrino seem heavy, and so shy it barely interacts with anything. They called it the Axion, named after a brand of detergent because it cleaned up the problem so neatly. But then, something extraordinary happened. Researchers realized Axions weren't just a mathematical fix. If they existed, they could be the missing piece of the dark matter puzzle. Suddenly, this tiny invisible particle became the holy grail of cosmology. But catching an axion is like trying to hear a whisper in a hurricane. These particles don't play nice with ordinary matter. They don't glow, they don't spark, and they slip through detectors like ghosts. Traditional experiments, like those hunting for the Higgs boson, rely on particles crashing and leaving trails. Axions? They're too subtle for that. Scientists had to get creative, looking for indirect signs, like axions turning into photons under intense magnetic fields, or leaving faint ripples in quantum fluctuations. For decades, experiments like the Axion Dark Matter Experiment or ADMX, have been scanning the cosmos for these signals. They've built ultra-sensitive detectors, chilled to near absolute zero, shielded from cosmic noise, and tuned to pick up the faintest hints of axions. Yet despite all this effort, the axion remained a theory, a brilliant idea, waiting for proof. Now let's shift gears to quantum computers, the rock stars of modern technology. These aren't your average laptops. They operate in a realm where the rules of reality bend. Unlike classical computers, 
which use bits as zeros or ones, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states at once, thanks to a quirk called superposition. They're also entangled, meaning the state of one qubit can instantly affect another, no matter how far apart. This gives quantum computers mind-boggling power, capable of solving problems in seconds that would take classical computers billions of years. They were built for practical things, cracking codes, designing drugs, optimizing supply chains. But what if they're doing something far bigger? What if in their intricate dance of quantum states, they're brushing up against the secrets of the universe? Here's where things get wild. In recent experiments, physicists working with quantum computers noticed something odd. They were running simulations, tweaking qubits, and analyzing data when they spotted anomalies, tiny unexplained signals that didn't fit the expected patterns. These weren't random glitches. They matched, almost too perfectly, what scientists predicted an axion signal might look like. Imagine the scene, a lab buzzing with excitement, researchers double-checking their data, wondering if they've just cracked open a cosmic mystery. The idea that a quantum computer designed for earthly problems could detect a particle tied to dark matter is nothing short of jaw-dropping. But how? Why? Let's dive deeper. Quantum computers are masters of the subatomic world. They manipulate quantum fluctuations, those tiny, unpredictable energy shifts that happen even in empty space. Some theories suggest axions, if they exist, might leave faint traces in these fluctuations like footprints in the sand. Because quantum computers are so precise, they can amplify these signals, turning whispers into shouts. There's also a theory that axions could influence quantum entanglement, that spooky phenomenon where particles share a mysterious connection across vast distances. If axions are out there, they might act like a cosmic glue, subtly shaping how qubits interact. Suddenly, a machine built to solve math problems becomes a window into the invisible. But it gets stranger. Some scientists speculate that quantum computers aren't just detecting axions. They might be interacting with them. Picture this. The qubits in a quantum computer vibrating in their delicate quantum states could be resonating with axions in a way we don't yet understand. It's as if the computer is tuning into a cosmic frequency, picking up signals from the dark matter that permeates the universe. This raises a mind-bending question. Are quantum computers more than tools? Could they be gateways to a hidden realm, unlocking secrets we didn't even know to look for? If axions are real, and if quantum computers can sense them, we're not just talking about a new particle. We're talking about